Hi and welcome to another episode of Reaper TV. In today's quick tip, we're going to take a look at one of the latest additions to Reaper, which is 5.17, and how this is going to make your whole recording process just a little bit quicker, easier, and more intuitive. So let's take a look at that new feature right now. So the first thing we need to do is we need to enable this new feature. So if we come up to the preferences, and we come down to loop recording, you can see the first option we have is in loop recording, discard incomplete first or last takes if at least one full loop was recorded. And then you can set the threshold to a certain percentage. So we'll leave that at 90%. We'll check that box and hit apply. That now enables this new way of ensuring that we don't end up with partial takes on our tracks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply come up and set everything up ready to start working. So I'm going to highlight the section that we're going to punch into. I'm going to switch our recording mode over by right clicking on the record button and set it to be time selection auto punch. And we're going to enable the toggle repeat. So it allows us to do multiple passes of the same section of our song. Now I've got a, a video on the whole how to use this entire feature and I'll link that up in the top right hand corner and also in the description of the video so you can jump through to that so you can get a little bit more information on what we're doing. But for now just follow along and see what I've done on here and how I've set things up. So I've got everything set up now ready to go so all I need to do is enable the actual guitar track, hit the record and what will happen then is we'll run through and as we actually record the part that we want, when we overlap this area, so we go outside the area that we're allowing to record, and we drop down, which would normally be a second take, that will now automatically delete that second take. So I'm just going to quickly go through, show you how I'm recording it, and you can see exactly how that's done, and then we'll take a look at what we can do from there. So there's our recorded part of audio, and as you can see, as you'd expect, inside the area we've selected, that's where our audio is recorded, and instead of it going to a second take for the piece that overlapped or went outside the area that we've allowed it to record in, it's automatically cut that off from being a second take. But, and this is the cool thing, we haven't actually lost that extended part of audio. If we come over to the right-hand side, and just stretch over the piece of guitar track that we recorded, you can see the extra audio is already in there, and if we needed that piece of audio to cut into the second part, or you know whatever we wanted to do with it, we've got that there, which I think is a really, really cool feature. So not only does it mean that we keep that extra part of audio that we would have lost, but we also means that we don't have partial takes that are completely useless to us. So it allows us to keep our interface and our working environment very, very clean and simple and streamlined. I hope you found this video useful. I hope the quick tip is something you can find you can use in your own projects. If you enjoyed the video and found it useful, please subscribe to the channel to be kept up to date with all the new content we add on a weekly basis. If you have any comments, questions on this video or anything else we've got covered on the channel, please pop those in the comment section below. Until next time, happy mixing.